In less than 24 hours, local volleyball players will take part in a tradition guaranteed to get you dirty. And that's a good thing. <laughs> Corrine's excited about it. It's yes. the return of mud volleyball at Riverside Park in Roscoe. Money raised it goes to keep Northern Illinois beautiful. The nonprofit's mission, of course, is to reduce, reuse, and recycle waste. Corrine Sasso joins us from KNIB. Hi, Corrine. Hi, it's great to be here. Thanks you know, so much. It's good to see you, too. And before we get into the KNIB, I just want to say you are one of our favorite people to interview, oh. going oh. all the way back to your days at Discovery Center. Um, so much fun. Last time you and I talked, I think we blew something up. I think we did. Which is pretty if I much recall. standard when we did talked Did I even let? Center. I think I even let you blow it up. You did? I, yeah, yes. we had this big fireball because I yes. made a balloon on fire, and it was yes. live, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. This year, though, <laughs> 41st year for mud volleyball. Can you believe it? Which is a, it's hard to believe. And so I participated years ago. We're talking probably 20 years ago. I did it a couple of times. Um, it's been around in some way, shape, or form right. for a pretty long time. Right. For someone who's never been, describe mud volleyball day. Oh, mud volleyball. We rototill the field and we put berms of dirt around them and we fill it with water. So these are pits of mud, the shape of a volleyball court. And then we put up the nets and here's your ball. Go have fun. And if right, if you've <laughs> if you've ever if you ever wanted to roll around in the mud, oh, um, and, and who this doesn't? Is, this is an event for you for sure. Um, there are a couple of strategies that I remember. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of duct tape involved. Yes, at there some is. Point. Well, because you know how mud's going to yeah. suck your shoes off. Yeah. So we're we're going to have duct tape if you need it. If you forget to bring your own, we have some. That was the first tip that I was told. Oh yes. Yeah. Also, the other tip is try not to open your mouth much. Correct. Especially when you're diving for the ball. Correct. Because that could be a mess. I mean, it's good clean dirt. Right. But, right. yeah. Not going to get sick. Just kind of gross. Um, is it too late for teams to get involved? It's too late for teams to get involved, but it's not too but, late to come and watch. Right. It's not too late to come and volunteer. It's not too, too late to make a donation toward this amazing event that raises money for Keep Northern Illinois Beautiful. So lots of ways people can participate. And it's sort of ironic. You're watching a video of years past. <laughs> super messy. Um, it's kind of ironic that such a dirty event is li linked to an organization that, dedicated to keeping the community clean. Keeping it clean. clean. We're keeping it clean with and getting dirty. You could probably talk about this for half an hour. Tell yeah. me what KNIB does. KNIB does. Well, you know the blue bins or the, the curbside recycling sure. stuff. We do what blue bins don't do, can't do, or won't do. So people might not have access to that curbside recycling. Sure. They can recycle with us. The stuff that the blue bins won't take, the old vacuum cleaners, the TVs, the, um, all the electronic stuff that you still want to recycle. There's valuable stuff in there. Don't put it in the landfill. Talk to us. We will do that for you. And you have specific locations where yes, people we can do. take those things. We right? have two work? warehouses right here in the Rockford area. One is on North 2nd Street and one is down on South Alpine. Those are open two days a week. And we will receive your recyclables at those time. And our our, uh, our hours are posted on the website. Of course, we're not going to be open this Saturday. Sure. But normally, yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be busy. But normally, we're open Saturday mornings from nine to noon at both locations, and then Tuesday from two to five down in South Alpine, and on Hydraulic, and Wednesdays from two to five up on North Second Street. And clearly, this mud volleyball event is a fundraiser. Absolutely. How important is something like this for Keep Northern Illinois Beautiful well, you know, to accomplish its mission? There's no free lunch. You know that. I mean, sure. those blue bins and or those those brown ones with the yellow. You pay for those. Yeah. You know, you're paying for those, and um, so we have to get our funding to to keep alive, to keep ourselves able to recycle, by doing things like this. And your title is education director. Education director, yes. So what does that job entail when it comes to teaching people? Like, how do you do this? How do you teach people One about One word, I am the cheerleader. <laughs> Which fits <laughs> your personality 100%. I have invented the recycle game. We'll find out how well you can recycle. Or do you, do you know what goes in those blue bins? Or do you know, like, here's an old vacuum cleaner. Where do I put that? So those kind of things that I do at community events, at schools, um, yeah, all over the place. I'm just now getting started. I've only been here for five weeks. So I just had this feeling that with your energy, you hit the ground running. I and did. You're, and you're going and you haven't stopped since. I haven't. So just quick reminder, the event is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Again, mud volleyball. Where again? What, what this is going to be Riverside Park. This is way up in Roscoe. Sure. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. Well, you know that. Yeah. We have... Um, Jacob Herman, who is volunteering his time, we thrive on volunteers, we have to have volunteers, who's going to sing the national anthem for us at 8 o'clock. We start playing at 8.15, and we go until we get winners. Fantastic. And you mentioned volunteers and sponsors. That the information about that's all available on all the website, All on my right? website, absolutely. KNIB.org? That's it. Fantastic. Kareem, you come by anytime. You okay. Can just, you can come by and talk about whatever you want. Fabulous. You're the, you're the easiest interview <laughs> in the world. 
and you're such a good person. And thank oh, you for thank what you, you so do much. for the community. Because Thanks. between you know your time at Discovery Center and as a teacher, and now at KNIB, um, we really appreciate what you do for the community. Making a difference. Thanks thank you so here. much. And good luck with the event Saturday. Thanks.